So the water pipe is all connected and it's working well. So let me show you how I got to this point. When I bought the water butt, this was the connector that came with it. And there is no way that's going to fit on our square downpipe. It's pretty windy outside, so I decided to bring the water butt into the garage to do the necessary adjustments uh, in order to get it hooked up to the, uh, the downpipe uh, on the outside of the building. Um, because now I've got my uh, extra downpipe connector kit, uh, which arrived the other day, uh, which is more appropriate for the square downpipe that we've got, so that's great. And while I was at it, I thought I would replace the existing tap, which was this one, uh, with one that actually would connect properly to um, hose lock pi uh, hoses. So I uh, bought an additional one with this uh, nozzle on the end, and uh, this will actually connect properly. Oh, let's try and, here we go, connects properly into the, the hose lock. So the next step is to drill a hole through this little uh, patch on the side of the uh, water butt here. Uh, which will then connect the uh, uh, the connector um, gidget there to the pipe and then I will cut through the downpipe and connect the little diverter thing and hook everything up and uh, that should be all of it done. And while we're here you can get a sneak peek of the, uh, the wall of the garage that is going to ultimately uh, be home to our home storage battery which hopefully we'll, we will be getting uh, in the next couple of months. Um, so I look forward to showing you all about that in a future video. Um, but yeah that will be uh, something exciting uh, for a couple of months time. I installed the new diverter kit for the water butt um, a little while ago but uh, I'm not completely happy with it because it's now a little bit wobbly because obviously I've had to cut through the downpipe uh, you know in the middle here in order to insert the uh, the diverter kit uh, so I've uh, gone and bought a couple of extra uh, clips that will um, I'm going to install around the the pipe like this above and below um, one there and one somewhere around here and uh, that should make it a little bit more stable and secure so I'm going to do that now. Beautiful. Guess what everyone? It's working. Huzzah. At this rate it should fill up in no time. So the final thing I've done is I've actually connected a hose that runs underneath this little very conveniently placed pipe that the landscapers put in when we were having the garden done that runs all the way underneath this path and it pops out round about here and then the pipe continues on and I've run the hose down just to the edge of the pond here and I've covered it over with some rocks and stuff um, and I've added a little bit of muslin on the end so that no critters climb in up from the pond and into the hose to block it up so hopefully that will work well so what I'm going to do I'm going to cover that up in a minute but uh, let me just show you how this works. So on the end of this hose here that I've tucked behind the water butt I've connected a hose lock connector and this will fit neatly over onto the tap there. Let's turn the tap. And there we go. Dribbling gently into the pond. So there's not a load of water in the water butt at the moment, so it's not coming out in a, a great rush, um, but uh, that will do just fine. And when the water butt is full, uh, it should then top up this pond a good few centimetres. Uh, so you can see it's a little bit low at the moment. We're waiting for a bit more rain. Um, we've added a bit of frog bit to the uh, pond here, and I've corralled it in with this little uh, bit of foam tubing just to stop it from drifting across the pond. But uh, a full water butt should fill this all the way back up to the top. I just need to uh, wait for the rain to come down to fill the water butt up and uh, we're all good. 
So yeah, that's it. That's the water butt fully commissioned. So there's only one more thing left to do. The ceremonial removal of the sticker. There we go. All done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed all that uh, silliness and uh, we're back to normal videos uh, in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.